Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of WWE 2K19 news, as following yesterday's roster reveal, WWE Games have been sharing a few more details over on their Twitter account, therefore today we're going to be running through some of those new confirmations, starting out with news on some updated attires. Now I've seen a lot of people complaining about the renders that were shown in the reveal, as a lot of them were out of date and is therefore completely understandable, which even led to some superstars themselves questioning the choices, with Johnny Gargano asking if he could get an updated attire, as well as Zack Ryder, who strangely was so outdated that he actually appeared in his Hype Bros attire despite that team actually disbanding way back on November 28th of last year. Whilst these renders are outdated, the good news is that WWE Games have confirmed that these renders don't represent the models or the attires that we will see in the game, as they confirmed in responses to both Johnny Gargano and Zack Ryder that these are not their in-game attires and that they have been updated. So not only is this good news for them, but this also means that other renders showing superstars in outdated attires could also be updated, including the likes of Baron Corbin, whose render still shows him with hair, despite having shaved his head nearly three months ago. Meanwhile, also shown with long hair was Dean Ambrose, although this one is obviously more understandable, as he only shaved his head around two three weeks ago when he made his return to Raw. What I'd like to know though is what you think about this, do you think we'll see the likes of Corbin updated, and do you think that 2K will update Ambrose post-launch, or will we be left with an outdated model until 2K20. Finally, as I pointed out in the previous video, another confirmation from WWE Games was in regards to how many roster reveal episodes there will be, as 2K confirmed on Twitter that there will be three reveals in total. Now, I did say that with 2K stating yesterday's reveal was for NXT and Raw, that next week could be SmackDown Live and 205 Live, and then the final week being WWE Legends. However, after reflecting on the NXT announcements, we're still missing Nikki Cross and current NXT champion Tommaso Ciampa, therefore it looks as though there will still be some NXT reveals made over the next two episodes. As for Raw, when comparing the Raw roster on WWE.com with those announced, there's only four stars that are actually missing. The first one is Bobby Lashley, who I mentioned in the previous video, which is is odd considering that he was featured in the Rey Mysterio trailer, therefore it could be a case similar to last year with the Hardys who were featured in the TV spot but then held back for DLC. Also missing will have John Cena and Kurt Angle, both of which we know will be in the game, but it could be that they're being held back for the Legends reveal as they're not technically active members of the roster. Finally, the only other star not announced is Mike Kanellis, which isn't really a big surprise as he had been off TV for the best part of a year dealing with a drug problem. So in regards to the current Raw roster, then it looks as though we'll have pretty much everyone except Mike Kanellis, which when you think back to past years is incredible to see as we used to only get a fraction of those on the active roster. Anyway guys, that is where I'm going to end today's video, but let me know your thoughts on today's news in the comments, and if you haven't already, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more WWE. 2K19 news. Until next time though, I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself a truly awesome day, and I'll catch you later.